Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so Howard and I had to go out of town for a family emergency, so we just stopped and got some Chinese food because I didn't feel like cooking. So Howard got a, I think this is combination lo mein, and then I got hot and spicy chicken, and it doesn't look as, as fresh as it was because it did get kind of cold in the car. Um, but we've got that, and then I got some pork fried wontons, and then I got hot and sour soup. Um, Howard and I are gonna split that, and then I got the crispy noodles to go with the hot and sour soup. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I had to go to plan B. I was planning on trying out a new recipe, and when I got ready to cook my ground beef, it had a horrible smell. This is the second time that that's happened to me in about two months. The first time it was, I think it was pork that I got from Tom Thumb, and this time it was ground beef that I got from Kroger. So I decided to make my tortellini carbonara, which is a dish that Howard and I really like. I do have a video for it and I'll link it in, in the description box, but um, the only thing that I was missing was the fresh parsley, um, So, but it's still good. So I've got that and it's just cheese tortellini and I use this one from Trader Joe's. Cheese tortellini, Parmesan, bacon, heavy whipping cream, and I think that's it, and supposedly fresh parsley. And then with it, I have these garlic and cheese breadsticks that I picked up from Trader Joe's and um, we really like them. I just pop them in the air fryer. That's what they look like. I pop them in the air fryer. And then we're also having a little salad on the side. And then I am using this table side Caesar. There's just a little bit left in there. So I'm also going to give this um, vinaigrette a try that I picked up from Aldi a while back ago. And then Howard is going to have this creamy Caesar. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. In my freezer, I had this frozen tilapia from Kroger. And if you've been following our channel for a while, while you know that Howard and I are not big fish people, but I am trying to, eat, to uh, cook a little healthier, eat more meatless meals, so got some tilapia here and I just pan fried it in a little bit of ghee and I used this on some of the fillets and then I like lemon pepper so I used this on my fillet so I also made some canned corn I just added some butter salt and pepper to it and then I made this nor rice sides which is this right here use that so this is Howard's plate and his has the buttery steakhouse seasoning on it and this is what it looks like and then this is my plate and it has the lemon pepper seasoning on it and this is what that looks like so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see you guys next time Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having spaghetti with meat sauce. In my refrigerator, I had this jar of marinara. I had taken a little bit of it out and used it for something else. And then I remembered I needed to use it before it went bad, so use that. And then to that, I added these diced tomatoes and then I just used Italian seasoning and um, Italian seasoning, garlic, salt, onion powder, etc., etc. So, and I did not even feel like making a green vegetable or a salad or anything to go with it. So this is, this is it. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast for dinner. So I just made some pre-cooked Hormel bacon. I made cheesy eggs, so it has cheddar cheese with fresh green onions. I've got some buttered toast, and then I made these loaded potato tots that I picked up from Aldi during one of my recent Aldi hauls. 
And so it says hash brown potato bites mixed with cheese and a hint of bacon. So even though this is a pretty big box, you only get about 10 tots and they are a lot bigger than the average um, tater tot. So I opened up one so you guys could see the inside of it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see there's a lot of cheese in there and they're okay, they taste pretty good. All right, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.